It's not just a hill country. Thousands of people on the north side of San Antonio woke up without power. And right now, as we check out the CPS outage map, 93 outages that's gone down in just the first last few minutes. 6509 customers currently affected. And as you see, the majority of those on the north side of the city. Some of those outages lasted so long, though, families have left their homes to find warmth. Our Camilla Juarez tells us what CPS Energy crews say caused that outage. This Stone Oak family was warming up their car because the inside of their house is freezing. Pretty similar to being outside just without the wind. This is how we were dressed inside. <laughs> Over 2,000 people in the Stone Oak area were without power since 5 this morning. Across the city, it was 30,000, and that's according to the CPS outage map. I feel like any other time we've lost power, it's been really brief and then it's come back on pretty quickly, but it's, it's been a while now. Linemen we spoke to say outage repairs typically take one to three hours. CBS Energy field crews have been working all morning and into the afternoon looking for outages. You can see that they're up there looking along the power lines for any obstructions. It's not fun, but I'm not sure anybody can do anything about it. It's um, it's the weather. The CPS field crew we spoke to say they're seeing lots of ice covered tree limbs leaning on power lines, sometimes causing sparks. CPS, CPS Energy trims their tree limbs year round to help prevent outages, but not all of the outages today were from tree limbs. Just the weight of the ice on the lines is enough to bring them down. Now we just looked at the outage map just a couple minutes ago, and it looks like people in the Stone Oak area are still being affected. Camelia Juarez, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.